Good morning. So we're now going to start filming episode three of this of this above the water series, and we're going to find a place that's called Twenty Bridges. It's an old abandoned bridge that used to carry the railway from sort of Standish through to God knows where. It's been abandoned long since now. So this is a trail that me and my wife found last lockdown, or well, the first lockdown, and we used our mountain bikes to get here. Turns out it was the wrong sort of trail, but it turned out to be quite interesting. So I'm going to head up and see what's going on. So this is the old train line I've just walked down and behind me is sort of stop you moving forward onto the bridge. Uh, clearly kind of like a safety gate but it's been busted and wouldn't be a real good documentary if I didn't sort of break the rules a little bit. Now the gate is open, I've not tried to open it myself so to that end let's just walk through. It's an open gate isn't it? Careful. So quite surprising they've made it up on top of this bridge. Now, last time we came here, the gate was locked. There's no way you're getting in. They call it the 20 bridges, but actually there's 20 different arches, I think is why it gets its name and typically we're going to just call things random random names there's another bridge just over the way there so you might be able to see that shortly and i'll try and get the drone up now the winds are very like breeze the trees inside of me are hardly moving so i think it's ideal to get the drone up but with the look at with the state of the sky i don't think it's even worth trying to put a time lapse together unless we get down onto the river douglas in a minute maybe it'll look quite nice but um we had a bit of snowfall last night so it looks a bit fresh the snow it's not too cold, it's about one degree, so hands are still uncovered. Hers out and done today for you. So I'll, I'll get the drone up, let's see what we can find out.
Okay, so I've popped the drone up, done some decent fly arounds, I think, but there's not certainly not enough cloud movement or enough blue sky to warrant trying to do a, a, a time lapse. So I'm going to have a wander around and a bit of an explore because you know, no one's here and see how we get on. I'm trying not to get trapped in these trees I'm going through here. So I've got myself down on the log, put all my kit and equipment away nice and tight. There's bits of brick and stuff falling off all around, which there's a sign up there, fair play, saying falling mason would be aware, and there's tons of bricks on the floor, so I would be careful if I bring anyone here. Um, I'm gonna try and get across this log now, get across the other side, let's see how we get on. <laughs> now I'm gonna step over there. It looks like there's loads of dog traps all at the top of it. There might be uh, foxes or something. Whew. I didn't expect that to be that easy. So that's why I just walked across anyway. That interesting, bit of adventure. Now we're not trespassing on anybody's land. We're away from the danger of the falling masonry. Let's see what we can set up. So I've put my macro lens on now just to try and take some of these pictures of this, this snow and ice that's on this branch here. There's obviously a big fallen tree and I figured, well, what a better time to try and get my macro lens out and get some really nice pictures of the, the sort of dripping water that's coming off here or even, you know, the snow that's formed on the top. So let's see what we can do. Right, for the final part of the journey then, we're going to find this bridge that's either been taken down, tumbled down, or never completed, not really sure which. The path's getting a bit treacherous underfoot now, um, there's a few streams running across with all this melt water coming through, so expect to watch me fall over somewhere, I'll try and get over easy. I'm looking at the footprints, I think everyone's stepping over here. Right, I'll turn this round now and you can see what I'm looking at.
So I made it across, didn't drown, didn't die, didn't drop anything in. Now, there looks to be a path just going up there, so I'm going to follow that, see where it goes, head back to the van. And then it's time for a brew, isn't it? So we're at the end of this, it's been a, quite a decent walk, my knee's killing because it's so undulating underfoot and I've quite told you I've got a bad knee. So that's the end of the walk to go and see the 20 bridges of Standish. Um, it's sort of backs onto Hayall Plantations, uh, we take a few routes that are questionable whether we're trespassing or not. Uh, it's been quite fun and warm in comparison to previous couple of videos we've made. Hope it's been of some use to you and some interest. And the fact that it backs onto sort of hay all plantations in some respect of the Douglas Valley. If it has, give us a thumbs up, will you? Be really appreciative of any any recognition or interest I can get in my videos. It's always helpful and it just keeps me going. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe key below. Uh, and at the side that you see is a little bell icon. Clicking that will give you a notification every time we post another video. So thanks for watching. Go and get yourself a brew. See you on the next one. I'm